Okay, so let's start with this video. Today we are going to talk about how to program your radio Abri AR F8. This is a radio that has some singularities. I see that uh, a lot of people have are having problems with programming this radio. Okay, and I'm going to show you how you can do it. So, first of all, you are going to check if the GPS function it's on or off. So mine it's on. Okay, the signal for the GPS lights up, and you can just sorry. You can just click to the right to see if it's working or not. So now that you know that the GPS is working, we are going to program the radio. Okay. So if the radio is not dealing well with um, with the GPS function, I suggest that you um, do a, um, a factory reset, and I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can do it on your own. Okay. Um, don't be afraid that the radio is going to change to Chinese, but then if you see the, the, the whole video, you can um, change the language uh, very easily to, to English again. Um, so, what I did to get the radio functioning, uh, so usually what people, what people find out is that they can program the radio, but then when they hit to transmit, um, it just gives a... Um, a signal that it's not uh, it just um, beeps or something like that okay so uh, it, they are not able to transmit and sometimes they're not able to receive either so okay so mine is hitting the repeater um, so it's going well it's uh, working okay um, but uh, usually people cannot do it uh, when they program the radio so uh, I don't really know the reason why, but I think that uh, Chirp, that's the, the, the software that we usually use, kind of mess up all the programming when you go into the radio, okay? So what I want to, to show you now is that how we can program the, 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 the radio, okay? So it's kind of confusing, um, so I'll try to keep it as simple as possible. So there are a few things you need to know. You should use the... WLT2000, this program you can find it and download it on the internet. And you should use it, should use also the, the Woksun KG UVHD, and you can also use Chirp. So, the easiest way for you to do it, because you usually already have a Chirp um, file with all, the, with all the frequencies you need. So, what I suggest for you to do is that you are going to uh, if everything is going okay with the radio, if the GPS is on uh, or is functioning, what you can do is that you can read um, your radio uh, with chip. You just go radio, download from radio, and you are going to receive uh, all the frequencies that are programmed, usually none. Then you can, or uh, maybe some factory frequencies, then you can uh, copy paste from your image file, you just select whatever you want and you can copy them to, um, to, the, to, the, to the file that you're going to upload to the radio. So after you do it, you are going to go radio, upload to radio, and now you have the frequencies on your radio. Problem is, when you go to this other program, that's the, the, the one from the, the Woksun, it's, it's, a, it's a very similar radio to the to the Avery one so when you go to this one and you go to read from the radio instead of having something like this <clears throat> you are going to have these two columns the 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 receiving codes tone sorry and the and the transmitting tones will be all messed up so what you have to do now that you have all the frequencies and all the names for your channels, and everything is uh, okay. You just have to do manually, frequency by frequency, changing whatever you want. So what you can do is that you have chip on the side. I'm sorry. You just have chip on the side. You can see 
one by one what's the tone and uh, you can change it here at the same time and you have to do this for the whole package as soon as you finish <coughs> or I recommend that you are, are continuing saving you just save it from time to time and when you finish doing it you will see that the radio is working for the repeaters um, I only need the, the, the code for transmitting so uh, you just have to do it on this side uh, let me see if I can just okay so uh, I just found that for my repeaters I just had to, to to put the tones on the on the right column so you just have to 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 figure it out first and as soon as you know how to if you want to if you need to put the, the encoders or the decoders on the right side or on the left side so I I, I, I suspected this one it's from the encoder is to to hit the repeater this one is to decode the signal from the repeater <clears throat> so um, you just have to do it depending on what type of transmission you are doing and uh, what the set what what's the correct setup for your for your radio after you're doing this you just go to uh, write to radio and it will just upload all the frequencies and you have the the, the radio working okay so this is mainly uh, the big issue that don't allow people to transmit so i also want to tell you that uh, a lot of people ask me so let me just put this into scan a lot of people ask me uh, for a strange signal that appears on the radio okay so this little signal over here it's a missed call signal okay I found it by myself I could not find any source for it so it means I lost an incoming call what this means is you just instead of having it on the scan if you just stop scan it will let you know that while you were away uh, you received the signal so you can call back and see if, if if anyone answers okay another thing i i believe you need to know it's that uh, on the radio the radio works a lot better if you go to um, to the settings and have the radio defined for the pf3 it doesn't mean that it's not going to work on with other definitions i just think it works better this way you can also write your name or whatever you want or your number or your tag number or something like that on the interface display edit and you will you have the name on the on the top of the screen and uh, what I also did was that on the configuration settings I changed the beep to off because sometimes it would mess up my my push to talk button so I turned it to off and um, and I think uh, that's it uh so oh and the, the reset the mode switch password and the reset password also have to to be with six digits i just used zero because that was the default ones so i used them uh, and it was uh, okay um so also on the work mode you want to be sure it's on radio and it's not because the other option is a repeater mode and you don't want that and i think uh, that's it i think that's um that's all you need to know to get the radio at least functioning so i hope you can share this with your friends that have the same kind of radio uh, so we can solve the problems i want to also uh, thank to everyone uh, on the internet forums and the facebook groups that uh, were uh, um, giving me uh, inputs about uh, what they know about the radio and i eventually uh, figured this out so um, thanks to all of you and uh, see you next time.